6 p.m. Assalamu alaikum. This on the news read by Daman Zaman. The headlines. The president has called for redesigning the national hepatitis policy involving the private institutions to eradicate the disease from the country. by Pakistan and Turkish Navy's special forces concluded in Karachi today. Former occupied Kashmir India to rethink its policy on Kashmir as it is a political issue which cannot be resolved. Britain, France, Germany, Russia and China are meeting Iran in Vienna today. Iranian nuclear deal. In Afghanistan, four security personnel have been killed in a car bomb. In the second chief of the air staff international open sailing championship in Karachi, Pakistani sailors medals. And now the news in detail. The president of Measures to eliminate hepatitis and other limited resources, addressing a seminar in connection with the world hepatitis. Hepatitis C is increasing in Pakistan due to consumption and water. The president so a contributing factor is better than cure in hepatitis and the focus should be made on preventive measures in curricula of medical colleges. Dr. Arif Alvi also on hepatitis policy. The, pres the president said we have to adopt systematic approach to meet health challenges by improving awareness mechanism through utilizing education system. He said spreading awareness about diseases is and they should also be engaged to aware the general public. He said Pakistan is also facing malnutrition, stunted growth and other health problems for which a comprehensive policy should be formed. The president urged the private institutions to join hands with the government to meet health challenges without private partnership. Earlier addressing the seminar, Special Assistant to the Prime Minister on Health, Dr. Zafar Mirza, said the government will announce a comprehensive package to deal with, blo with blood-borne diseases, including hepatitis. He said the government is establishing healthcare system under the program. Health services will also be provided in schools. He said the world's largest public health program will be launched and 150 million people of the country will be screened under the program free of cost. The special assistant to the Awan has expressed optimism that the interest will assist the vision of Prime Minister Imran Khan to empower the women folk. In a series of tweets, he said the meeting of Ivanka Trump Party and the offer of cooperation in women of employment and support for SR's program is a good omen. Dr. Pradas Ashika once said the daughter of President Donald Trump is playing a positive role in further strengthening Pakistan US relations. To the Prime Minister Akbar has reiterated the government's commitment to recover the plundered wealth of the nation in Islamabad today. He said former Punjab Chief Minister Mohammad Shahbaz Sharif had claimed to file a case in the British courts against the British tabloid The Daily Mail. However, Mirza Shahzad Akbar said Shahbaz Sharif just lodged a complaint with the newspaper for publishing a story against him. He said the journalist who published the story in Daily Mail still stands by it. Shahzad Akbar said he will himself present the evidence against Muhammad Shahbaz Sharif in the London courts. Answering a question, the special assistant said Prime Minister has taken serious notice 
Siddiqui handcuffed in the court and an inquiry is being conducted against the violators. The Minister of State for Climate Change, their Taj Gul, says reducing air pollution is one of the top priorities of the government's national strategic today. And friendly steps of the government successful. The Taj Gul said the Minister media and the civil society for an up plastic bags. She said ban on plastic bags in Islamabad would be implemented in cooperation with the business community. The National Assembly will meet at the Parliament House in Islamabad tomorrow at Port Station. The House will is likely to discuss matters of national and international importance. This is Radio Pakistan, a bilateral exercise I yield these 2019 between the group and the Turkish Navy Special Forces, Sui Alti Karachi, exercise which included anti terrorism operations, risk counter terrorism based operations. The exercise is a reflection of strong bilateral military cooperation between the naval forces of the two brotherly countries. The aim of the exercise was to strengthen military relationship, improve coordination and interoperability, and exchange of professional expertise in special operations forces domain. Pakistan and Turkey based on foundations of brotherhood and friendship. The defense in various professional interactions, including multilateral and bilateral exercises. is also a regular participant of Amman exercises, of multinational maritime exercises, organized by Enili by Pakistan Navy since The Pakistan Embassy in Kabul has restricted visa issuance to Afghans after harassment by the embassy. According to an embassy spokesperson, the group takes bribes. Members of the group are holding sticks in their hands and they are also supported by the Afghan police instead of taking. The spokesperson said the embassy would now issue visas to senior persons, women, and patients, along with businessmen only. He resumed after police takes action against the group. Former Chief Minister of Occupied Kashmir, Mahbuba Mufti, has urged India to rethink and overhaul its policy on Kashmir as it is a political issue. Means in a tweet, she criticized the Indian government's decision to deploy additional. Valley, Mehbooba Mufti said there is already no dearth of security forces in occupied Kashmir and this new move Iran will restart activities at the Arak heavy water nuclear reactor talking to lawmakers the head of Iran's atomic Swalihi said heavy water can be employed in Germany, Russia, and China will meet Iran in Vienna today to discuss how to save the accord. The meeting of the Joint Commission of the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action will be chaired by Policy 7. Killed bomb explosion near police headquarters in Aban, the district of Ghazni province. The Taliban of the blast. Sailors dominated chief of the air staff international open sailing championship in Karachi by clinching eight medals. The championship comprised four Pakistani players clinched two gold, three silver, and three bronze medals. 
Thailand claimed two medals, including a gold and a silver, while Malaysia backed one gold and Tunisia one bronze medal. Chief of the Air Staff, Air Chief Marshal Mujahid Anwar Khan, was the chief guest at the closing ceremony. Speaking on the occasion, he expressed special gratitude to the international players for their participation in the championship. 57 sailors and officials participated in the five-day championship. And finally, the weather. Widespread rains and wind thunderstorm is expected in the Kalath divisions during while at Skat places in Sakkar, Larkana, Makran, Sibijo, Bahawalpur, Faisalabad, Gujranwala, Lahore, Rawalpindi, Malak, and Hazara divisions, Islamabad, Gilgit, Baltistan, and Kashmir, and at isolated Goda, Peshawar, Mardan, Banu, and Kohat divisions. And for more news and in radio.gov.